and today we're going to be going over the placement of your HVE. HVE high volume evacuator. There's a little window on it to help collect more water or debris. So we'll start on the upper right over here with our air water syringe also. Always have something in both hands. If your doctor is on the buckle of the upper right, you're going to be on the lingual kind of occlusal. The water will run towards the back, so you want to catch it. So if they're, they're on one, two, or three, you could be on the lingual, occlusal lingual here, if they're on the occlusal or the buckle. If they're on the occlusal, buckle, or lingual of two, you could also be in the same position. You're not going to rest your suction on the gums. You don't want to push on them. You just want to kind of hang around on the tooth because if you push on the gums, it's going to hurt the patient. As you go around, it's the same thing. If they're on the buckle, you're going to be on the lingual. As we come around to the front, the anterior teeth, the same objective. The doctors on the cervical, the facial, or the incisal, we're going to be here on the lingual. Also, if they are on the facial and the water is spraying towards the face, you can turn your suction to catch the spray of the water. You just do not want to get your suction in the way of the doctor. If you get in the way of them, they're just going to tap your suction and just move. Remember, don't press on the gum line. If they're working anywhere in here, your suction can come anywhere along the gums on the facial or anywhere along the incisal edge lingual. Remember, you have a little window and the tip of the suction here is going to be catching all of your water. Once you get to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you're going to have to come to the buccal occlusal side. Doctors working lingual, occlusal, mesial, distal, we're going to be on this side where the cheek is also. So you could use your air water syringe to retract that cheek to catch that water. Water will always flow towards the back of the mouth. So each way we would just follow towards the back. If they are on the, the lower side, the buccal or occlusal, distal or mesial of 32, we would just follow on the lingual. Remember, whichever side the doctor is on, we're just going to be on that opposite side to catch the flow of the water. So as they come along, we'll just kind of follow where they are until we get to the premolars. Once they get to the anterior teeth, we'll never just be in their way because again, if we get in their way, they're just going to bump us. They just need us to move. Sometimes if they're in on these edges, we'll either be here, we will come around to the facial and catch that water. Remember, don't push on the gums all the way to here. You can change hands if you need to, to come around. Remember your cheek, the cheeks are here. So you're just going to follow where the doctor is. If they're on the mesial or the occlusal, you'll be right here to follow. If they're on that lingual, you're going to be right behind them on that occlusal surface to follow that doctor, just like that. Your suction only goes into the corners of the vestibule. You want to only suction here and here. You can come down here. You never want to go directly towards the back of the throat. That will make your patient have that gag reflex and that won't be very good for anyone. 